that. Well guys, me and Mr. Tyson, I've just parked down in the car park by the river. This is my good friend Dave. Say hello everyone Dave. How are you doing guys? <laughs> it's a really good chef that I work with. So I'm on rucksack. It's Dave's over there. He's packing his things. Mr. Tyson with us. We're heading down to a little island for a tent camp. See the mist coming off the river just because it's so cold. See it? Yeah. Yeah. Tie some chewing sticks. <laughs> as usual. You that one. This is all our kit piled up, my rucksack. Dave's rucksack's under here. Uh, this is the tent. We're using the, a canvas tent, got all the poles. We're just gonna pitch right up in the middle of the island like right over here and it's proper spread out so yeah i'm gonna set up camp because it's dark it's it's like 7 30 p.m we'll uh bring you back once i've got the tent set up got some sexy food for y'all guys so that's my breath you can see in the air and uh i've got better batteries in my torches now it's frosty i've got my dd 3.5 tarp to go over the top of the tent uh, Dave's just putting the, the uh, beds in the tent now look at that oh that's how you live it up no sleeping on stones for me <laughs> that's the tent all set up it's Dave's side Got his sleeping bag and wool blanket and his uh, camp bed. Pretty comfy camp beds, these. Very comfy. Uh, I've got my sn Snug Pack Elite 5 and my wool blanket underneath. And that's going to be me. It's already minus three. You can see the tent freezing up on the back of the tarp already. So there's this uh, tree here. It's washed up about a year and a half ago on this island. Right, I'm just talking to my camera. Oh, sorry, sorry. And uh, I'm just going to... I've got my chainsaw here. Little Betsy. I'm just going to cut that tree up. That's going to be our firewood. Oh, nice. That is so nice wood. So dry. So dry. It's easy splitting that. Oh. <laughs> it's not ever enough to try. <laughs> it's like bling, bling. It's so nice, John. isn't like, it? It's addictive. Tyson claiming a bed already. <laughs>
definitely not camping without a fire like. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't be camping without a fire, not in this temperature. Well, it looks like I'm climbing. Oh my god. Ooh. Look at that. The size of this beast. It is just, it's a. A bit of wood, eh? <laughs> a big bit of wood. Just chuck my tarp over the canvas tent just for a little bit extra warmth because it's frosted pretty bad. Fire's absolutely raging now. Loving the heat of the hardwood fire. Got a backrest too from driftwood. Three logs and a little one at the top just to push the heat into the tent. So we've uh, bashed to go a little wooden bench there. All these logs are just driftwood, what we found in the bushes and on the islands. Candle going in the back end of the tent, just for light. Serves us wearing a head torch all the time. Tyson's chilling in bed. So for a little star, we've got some burgers and sausage on the go. So I'm starving. Fairly hard work moving all the moving firewood and logs and building stuff. Of course, Mr. Tyson's here, next to the food that's cooking. Oh, absolutely brilliant night last night. I'm dropped Dave off and I'm heading to check on the debris cabin now, for the clear cabin that I built. See how that's doing, because it's been a long time. See if there's any damage see what's still standing well I've just arrived at the village of the debris cabin and it's uh, it's pretty much as I left it apart from that as you can see the uh, entire front of the cabins trashed I'm assuming it was that storm with the big strong winds we had seems to have lifted this corner of the roof up and slammed it down really hard and just shattered the entire thing. Impressive mother nature. And not left of that hardly. dark soon too and I've got nowhere to stay tonight <laughs> you can't even see the devastation I don't even know if it's safe because I see some bricks still up there 
hanging. Still half of the chimney up there. Oh yeah. It's like it's just dropped vertically. Just in here now. Yep. Silver. Stood for three years. A bit exciting doing something new. It was starting to get a bit boring. Just having a cabin with all my uh, all my materials in one spot, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it'll be exciting to move on. My plan is hopefully to get rid of the entire front end of the cabin and just have the back end and then have an outside fire in front of it tonight and then uh, see where we're at later on. Making headway, I'm uh, getting rid of most of the clay. Got all the front bit off. It's looking a lot better than it did. Almost usable for tonight, I think. Maybe I want to shred a little bit more off to this to there and then to there. So all this has got to go, all this has got to go, all this has got to go, all this has got to go. slowly getting there. I've got all this side out to where I'm taking it to. I haven't got a lot of rubble left to move either. Just a little bit. And all that inside it. So I've pulled out a cab bed. I brought just in case and camp and just 
Tyson's just chilling on it. I have an entire new fireplace built outside. Well, not outside yet, because I haven't took the roof off. That's my next to-do list, move this beam. And uh, then just get rid of the extra rubbish that's in the way. And then my place is clear to, to my new fire pit, which is just pretty much all the brick out of this one. You can see like I'm halfway down it. and So it's pretty much structurally sound with all this brick on the inside and just uh, clay on the outside. Hey. So I've got some cotton wool, some birch bark, and a few bits of fat wood that I've been getting. Fire's roaring now. I've just basically brought a pack lunch with us, a yogurt and some sandwiches, because I thought I'd be uh, busy working on that shelter over there. I didn't think I'd be taking down the front end of the cabin and that, and tidying up so much. But yeah, definitely uh, glad I did it. Looks a lot better now than it did when I arrived. I've sprawled the rubble in the other shelter to uh, raise the floor up because it gets really marshy. So hopefully that'll do the trick and then I'll lay the floor on top of that. But I've got way more materials than I thought I was going to have from the front end of the cabin that I've managed to save. I had a lot stocked in that wall there. Uh, like thick logs, so let me get another shelter out of all that. Right, so the old fire pit used to be here, level with this floor, and I've completely got rid of that now. Uh, there is a clay patch here on the ground that is still there, but I've mixed it with soil, and hopefully that'll just rain down. It's basically back to the old shelters I used to have, you know, the ones with the open fronts on them and the big fires in front of them. It's actually really nice to see the sky too. So got a little bit of cleaning to do along this side. I've got loads of wood around this corner. I've still got the floor to put down in there. Uh, 
yeah, so I've got quite a bit to do. Tyson's chilling underneath a heap of blankets. Yeah. I'm gonna build that fire up because there is a nippy chill in the air. It is definitely brew time. Nest Cafe all the way. Oh, oh, oh. And the jet boil is boiling like a jet. <laughs> oh, loving life here, you, eh? Nice to be up in front of an open fire, you Mr. Tyson. Well guys, I'm all snug in my bed with Tyson in my sleeping bag. We'll catch y'all in the morning. Oh no, just woke up, had an amazing sleep. I slept like a log on this log bed. <laughs> Tyson's uh, still there, uh, just enjoying his bed. I got to see the meteorite shower last night. A little bit, I've seen maybe five. Right over there, streaking that way, it's quite cool. Right now, I'm gonna start packing up and uh, 
in my lift because I've got a uh, work to do and a child to take care of now. Also, big thanks to everybody who watches and big thanks to everybody that said the congratulations to my new daughter. And we'll catch you all very soon. So on this shelter, what I've got to do is I'm going to, I've got the floor in on the front, I'm going to put a raised bed in the back there, then I'm going to wall up here and up here and up here inside the willow, right to the roof, maybe do a bit of work on the roof too. And that's what I made last night out the cabin, moved that ridge pole back, cut off a bit of the ridge pole and a bit of these side bits too. Completely got rid of the what was left of the old fireplace in there. Actually quite like it. It's a good little stash away. Kept the best of the clay walls too that survived. and my bed and I've got this nice raised floor in front of it and my long fire chuffed even though it was a catastrophe at the start with the damage it was uh, yeah good save I think good save indeed bit more close, open more to nature too which I quite like instead of being closed off 
and the willow wall all the way around it survived too. That's absolutely grand. Awesome.